Alrighty guys, this is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. As we do notice, we have pretty much already have a uh, program called AVG Antivirus Free. It's actually a very pretty good smooth program that I really do recommend depending on there. If you're not a big fan of Eureka or using Windows security, stuff like that. But it is a decent program. But if it comes to a point that you don't want this program and it just got installed by accidental or just not a big fan because you're going to pay for like Norton or McAfee or something like that, then it's all good. Just we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall it. Let's go ahead and get started right after our sponsor, RoboForm Password Manager. Are you tired of keeping track of all your different passwords and not even able to log in? Stop writing down passwords. Use RoboForm. Not only does RoboForm store your passwords, it locks you in with one click, so no more typing. RoboForm uses industry standard encryptions for all your data, so you can be absolutely sure that your information is secure. With over 20 years of experience and more than 30,000 five-star reviews, RoboForm is a perfect solution to your password problems. So head over to the link below and make your password problems simple. So first thing you do, pretty much you go to start, and you'll go to settings, and then from there you'll choose apps and let the applications load up. Eventually when you see to there you see AVG antivirus free, go ahead and select it and press uninstall. You'll probably be prompt again and I'll take us to this location from AVG antivirus installer. I'm gonna go ahead and press yes by default but currently I'm gonna press no. This program actually does happen sometimes. We're trying to uninstall AVG and it's here in the settings but some people get a glitch that doesn't want to show here. So in case it's not there, there's a second option. You can pretty much go to start, type in control panel, and then from there, your layout might look different, like this old classic, or might look like this new one. Regardless, just select the part where it says programs, or programs and features, or press uninstall program. It'll take us to the same location, and then there's AVG. You can pretty much double tap it, or you can press uninstall. They'll do the same thing. And now I should just press yes to continue the process. So here we are, back to the most current one that we see today. I'm going to select uninstall, which tell us again. And again, it's going to prompt us the same way. Go ahead and press yes. And it's going to tell us if you want to, I'm honestly going to minimize this. It's going to tell us if you want to configure AVG Instruction, so if you need to update it, if you need to repair it, modify it. What we're trying to do is to uninstall this program. So we're going to choose uninstall. And it tells us this is an attempt has been made from AVG. Yes, you would press yes because you do want this program to be installed. You have options to tell me if you're just uninstalling this program or if you want to reinstalling. You can choose either one. I don't think it really matters. And until you want to do license expires, other, this is, you honestly don't even have to press anything. Um, I'm going to say cleaning, resetting my computer. Press continue. I'm going to say I've used it about three or four years. Why not? And gives you their or report for it. So right now, it is technically uninstalling the product. And it's probably going to tell us to restart the computer. So we'll see if that happens right now. So here it says the product was successfully uninstalled. Some files may be currently on the location until the next reboot. So we're going to go ahead and just restart this computer. And we'll see what happens after it completes. So here are pretty much Windows is automatically loading back up and I'm getting to the screen on it. We're gonna see if uh, pretty much AVG is gonna appear. I don't technically see the start menu. I don't see them underneath here at all. I'm just waiting to see if any of the programs comes up for it. And I don't really see it. I have pretty much have Windows security and I have my VirtualBox guest add-ons that pretty much allows this to work for this video. And we're pretty much good. Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.